season one episode one criminal minds uh let's go oh seattle close to me right now Terrible idea. Wait, so it's terrible she said death idea. That's right. You know you should always I'm bring impressed. a friend. You should have your mechanic check it out anyway. Okay. How about I leave you my number and we can set it up? Thank Why you. does he talk like that? Sounds funny. Nah, she, she about to get got. So it's just the, right up here. He's about to take her. Oh, that was. <laughs> Hello. There was the right. He ain't pulling over shit. Okay. Stop the car now. Uh uh. You getting taken, girl? Pull You're over now. Taken. You better try to call Liam Neeson. Oh. Interesting version of that song, huh? How about Andrew? It's Greek for Valiant. Let's call him Sergio. Oh, please tell me you're kidding. Get in. Not a chance. <laughs> it's Hebrew. I like Look that what name. It means. It's perfect. Gideon Hotchner. No. Yes. No. I like yes. the name Gideon. Mm -hmm. Gideon. I knew someone growing up named Gideon. It's 1940s. You put bombs in train stations Ooh. and movie theaters. Uh, the, the How are you doing? Nice. The winner's sick. <laughs> yes. Losers. The drink. Whoa. You pool phone. Were you with him in Boston? I was supposed to be. Yeah, this is Morgan. Anyone recognize these faces? Morgan. Victims of the footpath killer. Is that his well, first that's what name? Virginia newspapers are calling him. I told Virginia PD they're looking for a white male in his 20s. I told him when you find him. Don't be surprised to hear him speak with a severe stutter. Not so skeptical, but come on, a stutter? He's from Princess Bride. Let murders occur. Hiking paths. Isolated. I lack confidence. I can't charm them into my car like Ted Bundy did. I can't because I am ashamed of something. Excuse me. He keeps him alive seven days. Uh, the handle serves as a crank. Allowing him to control the rate of suffocation. Wow. Seattle's hit a wall. Physical evidence is non-existent. There are no tangible leads. And another girl is missing. I'll look the case file over. I'll get some thoughts to ASAP. You're going to be with us in Seattle ASAP. Ooh. 23-year-old Heather Woodland. Before she left for lunch, she downloaded an email with a time delay virus attached. The killer's virus wiped her hard drive and left this on the screen. Oh, he wants to be caught? For heaven's sake, catch me before I kill more. I cannot control myself. He never keeps them for more than seven days, which means we have fewer than 36 hours to find her. They want you back in the saddle. God, he's you so ready? good looking. They sure they want me. The order came from the director. Then we better get started. I've definitely seen like a couple of these, like some of these episodes, I think. We're not asking for a judgment of Gideon. We want an assessment. We yeah, want to know you're there to step time. in if you can't perform. You clear? Of course. His first victim was 26-year-old Melissa Kirsch. Stab wounds, strangulation. Strangulation with your bare hands is not as easy as one would believe. He tried, probably found that it took too long. So he stabbed her instead. And realized it would be hours cleaning up the blood. And next time my boy's got a method. The belt. He's learning. What did I tell you about the tape? <laughs> thought he was gonna cut her finger off or something. <laughs> I got real nervous. He's willing to travel with the body. <laughs> when did the Bureau become involved in the case? After the fourth body. He dumped that one out of state. On purpose. If so, knowledge of law enforcement does suggest a criminal record. Why don't we sit down with your task force? Four o'clock. An accurate profile by four o'clock today. That's not a problem. So that's Gideon? Yep, that's him. The Gideon? 22-year-old Aaron Cushing was found right here. Nails clipped just like the others. He clothed the body before dumping it. That's a sign of remorse. It's not consistent. Look where we are. Why show remorse by taking the time to dress her, but then dump her here? 
Maybe he's connected to the location. Sandy, no, 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 no. I'm so oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm Agent Hotchner. This is Special Agent Dr. Reed. Oh, you look too young to have gone to medical school. I do have an IQ of 187 and eidetic memory and can read 20,000 words per minute. Yes, I'm a genius. <laughs> Sandy, you get a lot of attention, don't you? 20,000 yeah, words dog. per minute. My feet are when Heather's away. And usually she's fine, but God, I would read um, so many books lately she if won't I could read like that she can many sense words. Wrong. David, does your sister drive a Datsun Z? No, but she's in the market for one. How'd you know? There's an immediate relationship established between a buyer and seller, a level of trust. If I want to coax a young woman into my car, offer her a test drive. He knows he wants to kill him, but he still covers their eyes. He doesn't want them looking at him. Okay, but then he takes the body and dumps it right out in the open. Oh. I just tell him we're ready. He figured it out. You think you know? You good with this? We got a woman who's only got a few hours left to live, an incomplete profile, and a unit chief on the verge of a nervous breakdown. They don't call them nervous breakdowns anymore. It's called a major depressive episode. I know. Read. <laughs> the unidentified subject is white and in his late 20s. Violent nature of the crime suggests a previous criminal record. Because he's smart, the only physical evidence you'll find is what he wants you to find. Car in good condition. Our guests, Jeep Cherokee tinted windows. Organized killers have a fascination with law enforcement. They will even come forward as witnesses to see just how much the police really know. Which is why I also think you have already interviewed him. Oh. Interesting. You about to snatch somebody else up? I'm house sitting down the street, and when I got back, the door was wide open. I feel stupid asking this, but is there someone who might be able to take a look inside with me? Richard, get down oh, here! No. Hope you got a gun. Are you sure you locked it? Yeah. Um, you know who you should call to come walk in with you is the police, the popos, not some little oh, teenager. God. This is the one who. Hold him. That wasn't him. Sussman has been at the top of the suspect list. That wasn't him. Son of Sam Murders, David in the car. He, fires. Yeah, he looked exactly different. Him, which is Clearing him out was your idea, right? I don't send a SWAT team into a house with children. Pat says your background is in sex offender cases. What can you tell us? The last four murders show he's an anger excitation rapist. He probably records or videotapes them so that he can keep reliving the fantasy. Next time, show a little leg. Ah! Morgan. Rude. The only time you're gonna see a little leg from me is when I'm about to kick your ass. I still teach hand-to-hand -hand over at Quantico if you need a little brush-up training. I want that opening at BAU. Got any advice? Just trust your instincts. Well, we got the Jeep right. And everything else wrong. Yeah, I don't, that's not him. We're missing something. Not him. Somebody else. Try again. This is a boy's room. Not a man's. His dad or older brother. I'll get password. No, no, no. Wait, wait. It's not turning back on. Yeah, and it won't. What kind of game is that? In China, it's called Wei Chi. It looks also looks like he's playing himself. very confusing. Go is considered to be a particularly psychologically revealing game. There are profiles for every player. The conservative point counter, the aggressor, the finesser. What kind of player is Lesman? Extreme aggressor. You could tell that by looking at a board okay, game. Here we go. By looking at the little nuggets on the board game. How do you know? What's the number six at the bottom of the screen? Number of password attempts before the program wipes the hard drive. Do you think you can break in? In six tries? Try again. Fail again. Fail better. Samuel Beckett. Try not. Do or do not. Yoda. <laughs> oh, that's you, bro. Want to talk to him. Right? That was him, wasn't it? This guy is way thinner, you way skinnier than the person that was in the car. Anything. Fan of Adrian Bale's work? No. I'm a fan of yours. Ah. Uh. They never give you the real facts about CPR. That outside of a hospital, it's only effective seven percent of the time. But you kept trying. 
even after he had broken his ribs. Why don't you tell us where Heather Woodland is? Isn't she the girl that went missing a couple of days ago? Uh, yeah. Where is she? Get him out of here. Hey. He said, isn't she the girl? If he'd already killed her, he would have said, wasn't she the girl? But I still don't it's think it's about him, CPR? though. I, mean, I didn't know. Want statistics on CPR? Ask Reed. I want to know if you're okay. I think that's... It I'm was fine. not him. Are you? It was somebody else. Think I can't do the job? I think you can't be two different people at once. What is it? Conflicts in the profile. <laughs> two different behaviors. Two different people. Yeah. There's a second killer. He's like the schoolyard bully recruiting a good underling. He'll be protective of Richard. He'll make him feel like he owes him. We need leverage. A name. Mrs. Slesman, I don't think we've got the right guy. I think the person we're looking for might be a friend of Richard's. You reach Penelope Garcia and the FBI's Office of Supreme Genius. Hey, it's Morgan. Huh? I got a program called Deadbolt Defense and a girl with only a couple hours to live. So what do you know? And you got a problem. Deadbolt's the number one password crack resistant software out there. I thought I was calling the office of Supreme Genius. Well, gorgeous, you've been rerouted to the office of Too Frickin' Bad. Ooh, Too Frickin' Bad. There was this one young man. I think his name was Charlie. Charlie is probably Charles Linder. He was Lesman's cellmate. Bigger, tougher, he could have protected Richard in prison. Let's go. That looked like his mouth. My name is Richard Slesman, and I have trouble sleeping. <sighs> okay, what do I do when I'm trying to get to sleep? Listen to some music. I listen to thunderstorms. Or white noise. We're going through every one of these CDs. Scratches, wear and tear. I want to know which CD he plays the most. Let's go. Anyone who can tell us more about Slesman? Tim Bogle was the security guard covering Slesman's block. That was Hodge. Linder's name came up on a police report. And? He's dead. Car accident two months ago. I can't remember how many times put Linder in solitary for causing trouble with us. Maybe it's him. You think the inmates will try to stay on our good side, right? Especially since half our job is protecting them from each other. You can protect them? A little sus. If you're a little white guy. Linder 6-4, you talking about Celeste? Oh, yeah. Thanks for your help. He befriended Richard, protected him, made him feel like he owed him. And did you see them? The keys. Oh. Hotch, I just found your leverage. His name is Timothy Vogel. Four months investigative work, one file. And guess what, Richard? It's not your file. Oh, shit. It's Vogel we want. Oh, my God. I think we may have missed the obvious. Mm. Reed, what made you think of this? It was the only empty case. Yeah, why wouldn't you check where... All right, I'm an insomniac who listens to Metallica to go to sleep at night. This... Why what wouldn't you check what was in the CD player already? Enter Sandman. You know how car salesmen get us to buy a car? They call it reciprocity. They drop the price and... It feels like they've done us a favor. We feel obligated. Guys like Bogle learned in the schoolyard which kids to bully and which kids to protect. And he's got you convinced that you owe him so much that you'll go to jail for him. Yo. You owe him nothing. Nothing. There's something wrong. We gotta pull him over. I can feel it. I don't know the word repeated more than any other in your file. Impatient. Ooh. If you want to slap him, you give me a reason. When we left him, he was nervous, unsettled. But now he's stopping at every stop sign. He's using his blinker at every turn. Okay, do it. Sweet car, though. I'll give him that. Out of the corner! It's not him. Where is he? Where is oh, he? Bogle. Bogle. I don't know. What are you doing driving his car? He after me in the garage after our shift ended. He asked me to borrow my truck. What kind of truck? He's dumping the body. Oh, Gideon. shit. That was a lot. How do you know? Because we're watching her right now. Oh, snap. Unless it's like a delayed, a delayed feed. Hot. He's gonna kill her. He's heading there now. We need a location. We don't have enough time to get it out of him. Find something, Hotcher. That girl is dead. 
Right yeah. there. Right there, you see that? The light bulb hanging from the wire. It's shifting positions. Like it's swaying. Like the earth is tilting. She's on a boat? Where? Boat. It's a pier or a dock. He wouldn't be able to transmit the webcam image from the middle of the ocean. You sure about this? It's the best we got, Hodge. What is it you always ask Garcia? <laughs> to work me a little magic. <laughs> I'll work you some magic. Gideon's talking to Vogel. Vogel's nailing you to the wall. He said it was your idea to keep the girls on a boat. Reciprocity. Tell me where she is, and we make a deal. What is it, bro? It's a shipyard. shipyard. Allied shipyard. Listen to me. You need to wait for backup. If we wait, the girl is dead. And if we had waited in Boston... Ah. Uh. He told me to trust my instinct. Oh, shit. <laughs> You in the face, bitch. Stop! Stop! Get back! If I were you, I'd aim the gun at me. You shoot the girl, you got nothing. Shoot me instead. What are you, a lousy shot? 15 feet away. You got a perfect shot. Shoot me. <laughs> I know all about you, Tim. You drive a flashy car, you stink a cologne, and you can't get it up. Not Ooh. even Viagra's worked before. You know what that Ooh. tells me? That tells me you are hopelessly compensated. It is physical. What did girls play in high school? What did they come up with when you fumbled your way into some girl's pants and she started laughing when she got a good look at just how little you had to offer? Shut up! Oh, Shorts shit! Back, little Vongo. I got it. Tiny Tim! Short snack! Go look after the girl. Short snack. <laughs> Tiny Tim. <laughs> so what kind of report do they want to make? I suppose whether he's fit oh, to be a field agent. That's funny. Gideon saved her life. It's good enough for me. Such a snack. <clears throat> you and Haley picked the baby's name yet? Haley liked the name Charles. But, you know, all I could think of was <laughs> Manson. Uh, Jeffrey. Dahmer. And just too many of them. That sucks. You can name him. How's your report going? Simon. You hide that from an old profiler or now, did you? Bradley. You know you saved that girl today. You can feel good about that. Or it is good. Travis. Dumb fries. Oh God! Dollar ninety nine gas. Dollar ninety eight. Holy shit! What the what? Got a pretty sketchy gas station there, bub. Having an oh, nice day. Oh shit! Oh. Shit. Did he shoot him? Did he shoot Gideon right there? I don't know. That ending was sick. I wasn't expecting that. The show's really cool. I have seen some of them. I have not seen that episode. I don't even recall like some of those people in that episode. <laughs> so like it is kind of cool to watch some of these, especially from the beginning. So I can't wait for the next one. Shout out to Caden for suggesting this. Shout out to all of you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.